Hi, I'm Joel Heck. I'm the team lead of CU Air Cornell Unmanned Air Systems team. We are an project, engineering project team of about 38 undergraduate students in engineering, software development, and business. We compete in the AUVSI Student Unmanned Air Systems competition against 40 other teams from around the world. In this competition, we are challenged to create an unmanned air system which has to complete a variety of tasks. These tasks include autonomous unmanned flight, or autonomous flight, uh, waypoint navigation, image processing, we have to do an egg drop, we have to do high speed wireless communications. So there are a lot of different ways that we can go about these, these tasks, a lot of different designs that we can employ. The team dates back to 2003, where we went to the first AVSI SUS competition. It was us versus NC State, and that year we took home first. Fast forward to 2012, we placed first in mission performance and second overall. And what this really demonstrates is that in between, we had a lull in our performance. Um, it was more of a hobby team, it was starting up, but as of 2012, we really started to get going. In 2013, we expanded on that performance. We took first overall, first in mission performance, and first in technical journal paper, or the design. Uh, I think that uh, the team won last year. They, they were crowned world champions because of its exemplary flight and the reporting phases of the competition. And most importantly, in my judgment, they practice extensively. And this is a very complex enterprise. Upwards of six computer stations have to be set up on the tarmac. Everyone must know their roles and how to troubleshoot things if issues arise. And I think that the team's success was due in no small, no small part to their extensive practice and preparation. Once we go to competition, it's a really great experience to see all the other student teams, to talk to other students, and to see the different ideas and designs that they have and that they've brought to the competition. So that we can learn from them and they can learn from us and we can both improve uh, in th future years. So the airframe team uh, goes through the complete uh, airframe uh, design process and then we build a, the, um, the custom uh, airframe that we use for the competition. For people who are interested in going into aerospace, we are directly incorporating techniques that they would be using in the real world. So the, the skills that people learn through that can be applicable anywhere. Also our uh, aerodynamic analysis of the airplane um, can be applied to you know, rockets, airplanes, helicopters, gliders, you name it. So the autopilot subteam is composed of five different members and our task is basically to ensure that the plane flies smoothly throughout its flight. So we don't get to control the hardware, but we get to control all the software and all the electronics that you know, govern the flight of the plane. So we have to make sure it flies uh, smoothly, stably, and then we have to actually operate it and ensure that it's flying all its waypoints, retask it during flight, all those things so we can accomplish the mission. The business sub team is responsible for the marketing, fundraising, and out outreach efforts of CU Air. We're also responsible for managing the website and social media pages. All the members of the business team are, are business minded as well as um, technologically minded. So we're able to combine both of those aspects into something greater and it's a great quality that uh, members of the business team have developed. Um, in terms of you know maybe going out to s start a new company where they have this technology experience as well as the b business experience on CU Air. The electrical subteam is responsible for several big projects, the first of which is our power distribution system, both onboard and offboard. The next of which is our wireless communication system, which is responsible for bringing images from the plane to the ground in a small amount of time. And the last of which is our embedded computing system, which is responsible for compressing images fast enough that the camera can take them. Uh, some other projects that we work on include an antenna tracker and various other PCB and prototyping work, such as logic level converters, etc. The software subteam is responsible for making sure that anything explicitly software based in our system, from everything from the ground system up to all the software on board the, on board the plane, for instance the camera, the onboard computer, making sure that all of that is connected with each other, properly taking images from the plane, sending it down to the ground station, identifying targets in those, and then managing to do anything autonomously that we can. 
So the software sub team is really responsible for the primary mission elements of getting all of our target recognition as quickly as possible. The team used to be about getting to the competition. And what I mean by that is we would build a system that could do the task, but maybe didn't do it optimal, or was something that could be completed very quickly um, to demonstrate core performance. Nowadays, we're much more focused on pushing the bounds. We're focused on identifying what is the truly the best way to do something and making sure that we are innovating and pushing the bounds at this competition. So the main goal as we go into the future for CU Air is to make our system smaller, lighter, more autonomous. The, at the competition, the main goal is to make your system as autonomous as possible. You get more points for that, the judges like it more, and it's also a much more uh, creative for us and much more research for us to do during the year to make our system more autonomous. I, w I would also uh, like the team to, uh, and the team is doing this, to adapt to changing technologies, both in airframe configuration and system integration of autopilot functions uh, and so forth. In the end, it will allow us to run the entire mission with a single click and not have human input throughout the rest of it. And that would be ultimately a very cool thing to have for student, an undergraduate student team to achieve. I think we are at a pivotal point right now where the team is about to fully expand and move into the research realm, where we're no longer doing application-based stuff, where there's a task, there's a known solution, and it's about implementing that solution. Now it's going to be about how are the new ways that we could approach this problem. Um, some examples of that, including custom autopilots, um, new advances in digital design and microcontrollers, um, using multiple cameras with stitching, and uh, various other techniques, um, both in manufacturing and software and electrical design, that will truly push the bounds and help us lead, the, lead us into the future. Now that's awesome! <laughs> When I got to Cornell and I saw CUWare, and it, it pretty much merged both passions of flying and building, and I was lucky enough to be accepted onto the team, and so far it's great. I really, I really love it. My favorite part is probably not necessarily the technical part, so being able to work on an awesome aircraft or build an amazing UAV, or work with parts that I would never get to work with anywhere else. Uh, it's probably being able to work with a group of people uh, and share knowledge with everyone uh, and learn from people that are older than me uh, in a scenario that the knowledge is applicable instantly. I think it's been really positive. Like, I've only been here for just over a semester and I really appreciate the experience already. My favorite part is definitely the people on the team. I always feel like they're so much smarter than me, but still always willing to help me out and I just really appreciate that. It's a very small team. It's only I think, like 30 or so people um, versus some other teams which are quite large. So, I mean, I know everyone on the team. We hang out a lot. Um, during team meetings, you know everybody. Um, and when you go and look in the lab, it's a really friendly environment where everyone knows each other. Um, it's kind of why I chose CUAIR. The benefit of joining CUAIR over the other project teams is definitely the difficulty of the programming assignments. The complexity of what we're assigned is very high and I really appreciate the problems and being able to work through them both on my own and with my teammates. Well I, th I think that the major takeaway from this experience is for the students to have the ability to work together and uh, to be independent in their work at the same time because each of the students are tasked with a particular uh, project that all fits together and when they work on their individual projects they are essentially working alone but everything fits together so it's the ability to work on the one hand together and on the other hand to be, in, to be independent. A big reason why we've been so successful in this is because of the mutually beneficial relationships that we try and foster uh, with sponsors. So we, we they come recruiting to us and we send them a lot of uh, you know, very smart engineers as well as business oriented people um, that go to these companies and make a huge difference and that's a huge reason why we've been so, so successful with our fundraising. Microsoft sponsors CUAIR and groups like CUAIR because we think that the, the work that students do in these project teams give great experience to solve different problems 
that are more relatable to the real world and gives them the experience to, to come in and be successful um, in a professional setting. So it gives you the opportunity to solve different problems while also using some of the skills that you're, you're learning inside of the classroom. Our sponsors are an integral part of our team. Our team really relies on donations and mentorships that our sponsors give us. And our sponsors, for their contributions, our sponsors receive exclusive recruiting access and increased visibility on the Cornell campus, which really helps us and it helps them. On behalf of our team, I'd like to thank all of our sponsors for their contributions. We wouldn't be where we are without our sponsors.